Welcome back to Dubai Real Estate Philosophy. My name is Ahmed and this is a brand new series that we are starting now. It is basically going to be a comprehensive video tour of all the major communities that we have now in Dubai. And of course, we are starting off with none other than Dubai Hills Estate by Imar, everyone's favorite community, one of the most popular communities in Dubai, you know, with its connectivity, with of course all the amenities and all those things. Right now, as you can see, we're standing in beautiful Dubai Hills Estate Park. You can see the surroundings, the mature park, the people, the residents already living here. So we're gonna go to the sales center. We're gonna go over the master plan as a general overview of the master plan. Then we're gonna look at the show apartment. We're gonna show you guys the quality that Imar has provided throughout. And then we're gonna go look at basically the schools, the hospitals, all the things that you have that really makes this a great community, which in turn makes it an amazing investment. And of course, if you wanna live for yourself right here in the middle of Dubai by one of the best developers, the best developer in Dubai, Imar. Okay, so right now we're standing in front of Dubai Hills Estate Mall. This is the second largest mall in Dubai right after the number one uh, mall, which is Dubai Mall, also by MR. So this one has around 750 retail outlets. But right behind me, you can see Al Khail Highway. And right behind this mall, we have basically the Um Sukim Road. So we are standing right now at the intersection of Al Khail Road and Um Sukim Road. So you can imagine the connectivity that Dubai Hills Estate has. It is right in the middle of Dubai, right in the middle of the two massive airports that are coming. And this is why this is one of the most successful communities. Uh, as you saw right now in the park, the buildings, this community is targeted over 30 thousand completed units in the end and it's almost 80 percent ready we have people living here we have families living here we have malls ready as you can see retail outlets f and b options parks so this is one of those no-brainer communities where we always talk about on the channel that you always have to look at the four fundamentals we have a great developer we have a great community we have amazing prices and payment plans that we're going to talk about uh, later on, of course, with all the upcoming launches. So let's go look into the sales center and we'll go over the master plan. Okay, so right now we are standing in the sales center of Dubai Hills Estate. As you can see around me, gorgeous area. And right behind me, you can see the Sidra Villas. Uh, these were all obviously handed over. As you can see, they're all ready. There are people living in. Again, as I keep on saying, this is a massive community. And to be exact, this is around 11 million square meter community, which is a massive size. As I mentioned before, we're aiming for 30,000 total units over here, you know, including apartments, townhouses, villas, a lot of them that have already been handed over. So now we're here in the beautiful uh, Dubai Hills Estate Sales Center, which of course you can visit as well. You can come here, they have a show apartment. We'll go look at that show apartment now. We'll go over the master plan community just to understand where we are, where we were standing. And you know, of course, what is the future, you know, potential of this community, see the connectivity and all these details. And then we'll wrap it up with a nice presentation in the and really get down to the numbers, see what was the historical data of this community and what the future holds for us over here as well. So follow me, we'll go see the master plan community and then we'll go check out the show apartment. So over here now we're finally at the sales center. We can see the entire master plan community laid out in front of us and how Dubai Hills Estate is known is that it is basically split in half. We have this middle road that's splitting the entire community in half and one portion is the one that has the Dubai Hills Estate Mall, which we just saw right now, the beautiful park, which we just saw right now, and the other side has the massive golf course and basically the villas and a bit more exclusive community as well. So now we have availability with apartments that either have golf course views or they have park views or they're close to the mall. So all these things, again, as we mentioned, and of course we have two schools over here, we have Gems Wellington, King's College, uh, King's College Hospital as well. So this is a very well thought community, as you can see, it's all integrated. And of course, if we look on that side of the community, we have Al Khail Road and this side we have Um Sukim Road, which we discussed when we were standing in front of the mall. So we'll show you guys some shots of the golf course as well. So. This is a complete community with a mall, two schools, a hospital, a beautiful park. It's actually one of the longest parks that's available in any community in Dubai. This is a massive, again, 11 million square meter community. And it is completely master plan designed by MR. It is maintained by MR. One of the things that's very important, we just saw the park right now. We saw the mall right now. This community has been going on since 2014. These things are almost 
aging at 10 years old and right now even if you walk in the community it's something that's super clean super well maintained and this again just is an, a testament to basically Amar's design ethos how they do it you're not just buying a building to live in you're buying the whole community you are buying the lifestyle and that is exactly what Amar is all about it is about the lifestyle it is about the amenities it is about the community and these are all the fundamental things that make Amar such a great developer for investment and if you want to live for yourself in the future as well Okay, so now we are standing in one of basically the show apartments that Imar has constructed out for clients to, of course, you can come, you can see, you can visit this live example of how Imar construction works. And this is not specific to any project. This is basically a floor plan that Imar has perfected over years and they use the same floor plan. This is specifically a three bedroom, but they will basically be using this specific design, this specific quality. Uh, you know in all of their projects that are coming up as you can see over here. We of course have Bosch appliances uh, The uh, most of the basically the white goods and stuff are not usually included and of course it is not furnished This is just a mock-up for you to understand uh, And show basically the construction quality and the design and you can see over here that we have floor-to-ceiling windows We have amazing floor-to-ceiling windows and with the views that we just showed you in the park and basically the Dubai Hills Estate Mall. You can imagine when you're sitting here with your family in the living room and you know the sun is coming out, but you're sitting in golden hour, you can see the beautiful greenery. Of course, there are units that they have on the golf course that are facing the park. So amazing views, amazing quality fit and finish. Now let's go check out the bedrooms. As we entered from here, we saw the kitchen now, now going along the aisle, as I mentioned, over here, you have an amazing powder room. So for your guests, of course, you don't want them to visit, uh, you know, your bathrooms as well. We have one bedroom over here and specific to this one, this is a three bed. So we also have a maid room, which you can use as a study. We have a nice appliances over here for the washer dryer. We have another bathroom that basically is for this bedroom as well. And of course, we have the master coming up the front as well. As I was saying about the walk-in closets over here, you can see the his and hers basically bathroom. And we have a walk-in closet before. So this is, again, one of the design ethos that Imar has on basically all their properties. It's something that's refined. It's luxurious. They really do understand perfect floor plan that they have designed over their years of experience in construction. So we have a lot of people that reach out to us. Obviously, Imar is one of the most, uh, you know, sold developers in Dubai. And a lot of the times people are like, why are you guys always focusing on Imar? Of course, me working with Aon Trissel, we are number one in Imar as well. We were in 2023. And consecutively, since that time, we have also been number one for Q1 and Q2. And one of the reasons we're one of the largest companies as well is because we sell Imar. Imar is one of those developers where not a government company it is a public company you know these guys they're making 30 40 billion dirhams a year in net profits and the thing that gives you with that kind of financial backing is really the ability to doesn't matter what the world's at doesn't matter if we're in 2008 doesn't matter if we're in COVID. all these things they really don't affect the long-term plan of mr right now you might buy a lot of people they're afraid a lot of people they come to us they're saying oh you know the market's about to collapse all these things look you have to understand we can't print houses right now Houses are not built in two, three days. Houses are not built within a year. Any community, any building that comes out, it takes two to three years for development time. And then the community matures and you start making that money. Real estate is one of those, you know, again, feasible things, not like crypto where you're going up and down. It's one of those steady things. It's cyclical. It goes up, it goes down. But at the end of the day, land is reducing. Or we're not going to have the same locations anymore, the same connectivity anymore. So MR is one of those developers that has master plan communities in all the hotspots. They deliver quality and they deliver again a lifestyle so people love that investors have made immense amount of capital appreciation immense amount of rental returns and people who live in it themselves you know let's say in sidra villas townhouses the valleys obviously coming up it's something people really like people really love people trust and again as we saw right now as i mentioned this community is going on since 2014 we're looking at almost 10 years of this community and it's still appreciating People bought long time back and, you know, maybe you could have been doubtful back then. Obviously, it's better to get in early all the time. But, you know, if you missed the boat, you know, five years ago and you're having regrets, it's still an amazing time. Uh, you know, the market is still pretty strong. And again, a lot of people, they say, oh, you know, I want to wait for the correction. See, the thing is, I always like to see. And in my experience, what I have seen is that people who don't buy now, when the correction comes, they won't buy. You know why? Because they'll be waiting for the price to go even lower. So if you can't pull the trigger now, it's very rare that you're going to pull the trigger later on. So pull the trigger, get in, lock in your price. Even if the market goes up and down, if there's a correction at the end of the day, four or five years down the line, when the market is matured again, you're going to jump back right up. So this is one of the reasons that, you know, again, I keep emphasizing on getting in the market right now, not worrying about, you know, all these external factors. 
uh, going in with a good brand. Of course, if you go with small developers, there are problems, but you can't, doesn't matter if there's a financial crisis, doesn't matter if there's a COVID or God forbid anything, we understand that Imar is a very financially stable company. They have delivered over 80,000 units, I believe, uh, since their inception, which is uh, more than any other developer in Dubai. So this was just a brief talk about Imar. Again, as I mentioned, let's go to the presentation. We'll really get down into the numbers of Dubai Hills Estates historical data, what the prices are right now, what kind of capital appreciation and rental we're looking at right now. So you get a you know proper understanding of what we're talking about, how you should get in, at what price point you should get in. Okay, so now we are back at the presentation screen. As you guys saw the amazing park, the mall, in the sales center, we saw the show unit and we saw the master plan model. So now let's look a bit of, you know, historical data about Dubai Hills Estate. So, you know, we can understand where the community was, where it is right now and where it is heading in the future and why you should be a part of it and why I keep saying in my channel that Dubai Hills Estate is one of those communities that you really have to be a part of in Dubai. You know, it is one of the prime and, you know, best communities, even by MR itself. So over here, we can see, of course, you guys saw the physical park. It is ready. It's not just renders. And this just goes to prove basically that when they show renders, it's not just that, okay, they show something, they deliver something else. This is a render of the park. Now we went and we saw the park, we saw the apartments. It is from rendering to reality. That is what Imar is doing. That is what Miras is doing. That is what Damak is doing. It's not like they're gonna show you something and then they're gonna deliver something else. This was, you know, the main point I was trying to get across to going there on the site. Obviously we look at brochures, pictures, renderings all the time in our videos, but to actually go there, see it in person, show you guys in person. I understand not everyone here is in Dubai. Not everyone can come to Dubai. So this will help you understand the community, you know, obviously just by sitting at home. So now looking at the historical data. Now this graph is from our friends at propertymonitor.com. These guys are our partners. They basically take all uh, the data for the property, you know, rentals, resale, all these things directly from DLD. So these data points are fairly accurate. Now, if we start here, this isn't going very back because this community has been on sale since 20 2014. Now we're not going to go that far back because it'll be, you know, get pretty technical. But if we look here at Q1 2020, we're looking at an average price of, you know, let's say from anywhere from 1200, 1300 dirhams per square foot. Now this was prime time to get into Dubai Hills Estate because as you can see, we're looking at Q1 2020 and this is COVID by the way. So the prices were, you know, fairly dipped. And now we're seeing that it's a consistent and steady rise all the way now till Q3 of 2024. We're standing anywhere from, you know, 22, 2300, 2400 dirhams per square foot for Dubai Hills Estate. And this shows one other thing. A lot of people, they talk about Dubai being a bubble. Look, we have to understand that this kind of slow, gradual, consistent growth really shows one thing, right? These guys, the DLD, as we talked about, they really analyze the market before they even allow the developers to keep on supplying. So it's not like the developers, they keep pumping out apartments, townhouses, villas, launches, end of the day, just like, you know, in other countries, you guys, I'm sure have seen those ghost towns where we have had massive amounts of government backed development. And then in the end, there was no user. That is not the case in Dubai. It is fundamentally different how real estate works in Dubai. The government does not finance everything. They do not fund anything. Financial institutions are not allowed to fund anything. So if when we buy this and we're going to look at, you know, for example, in the payment plan and other videos, you are not allowed to have a mortgage or get financing from a financial institution unless the property is ready. And this lock is essential of how Dubai has ensured that we don't have developers using cheap money, using debt and finance to build all these real estate developments. And then in the end, there's no end user. The end user is always the one or investors, small time investors. I mean, there's not a lot of people that are coming in. Obviously, if you're an investor, you might have two, three units, but that's it. It is locked in to ensure that you are the one who is financing the projects. There is end user demand that really goes to show that Dubai really is in a bubble. A lot of people, they were talking about, you know, the 2008 financial crisis, 2020. Look, frankly, all those crashes they happen because of external factors. We're looking at the 2008 housing crisis that was obviously induced by US. Even right now, we have, you know, an impeding dollar crisis, Eurozone crisis. All these things are coming. But Dubai, if you look at the fundamentals, the government does not have any debt. 
We are always running surpluses. US, the Eurozone, all these guys, they're running massive trade deficits. They have low interest rates, artificially kept low interest rates. There is nothing like that in Dubai. Now, no, we're not gonna get too complex into this video, obviously, but just to understand, the government does not finance anything. Financial institutions don't finance anything. The interest rate is not artificially kept low. It all depends on market supply and demand. So this again shows a gradual consistent growth in over the four years. And right now, even though this community has been going on since 2014, there still is a long ways to go. Now, why does a community appreciate? More roads are gonna be coming. Obviously, land is scarce. Now, Dubai Hills Estate, it's a massive community, 11 square meters. We are nearing the end. The park is taking up space, the golf course, all these things. So as the plots keep on finishing, obviously at one point it's gonna come when Dubai Hills Estate is no more. You can't buy anything from Imar. Now it'll all be secondary market. And then that's when the prices are really gonna go crazy because the developer is now no longer selling anything. Now, moving on to the next slide. This is the changes in sale price again property monitor.ae just for 2024 on a monthly basis now a lot of people are always talking about 30 percent growth in like two three years now if we look at it at a month-to-month -month basis this shows that we're changing around two percent 2.86 1.23 sometimes it's 0 0.16 0 0.5 percent of price increase in a month this is just to show you the consistency now we're not looking at graphs that are going all the way up all the way down all the way up all the way down it's not like you know boom and bust cycle it's a very consistent price increase obviously the prices they dipped a bit in 20 2020, but we are looking at a gradual increase. And one of the main reasons the price keeps on increasing is not just because what Dubai is doing, but again, as I mentioned, it's all the external factors. If we look at the US, there's a lot of political instability, the inflation is crazy. If you look at Eurozone, there's a lot of not really political instability, but a lot of inflation. If we look at Asia, all these other areas, a lot of political instability, a lot of inflation, not really that economically free. And the worst part is you have all those problems and then you also have to pay taxes. When you come to Dubai, it's super politically stable. They don't have any wars, anything like that. There's no inflation at all. Again, the government has surpluses. The government is very fiscally responsible. So those things are not there. And then the cherry on top, you don't have to pay any taxes. There's no property tax. There's no capital gains tax. There's no withholding tax. So the only thing you have to pay is the property price and the 4% DLD, which is payable once. The returns, they make it even better. And when you compare the price per square foot, as we saw in the previous slide, compared to international markets, Dubai is still very undervalued. And there's no doubt in my mind with all the developments that are coming up. And frankly, you know, it's sad to see, but the world problems do not seem to be getting better anytime soon. And until they do not, I see no reason that, you know, the Dubai market is going to stop unless there's some external factor for example the dollar crisis or the eurozone crisis and we'll make more videos hopefully in the future podcast discussing more about those economic problems that are coming very soon moving on now we're looking at the rent price picks this is just to show you on you know what kind of price range we're looking at obviously from 50 to 80 thousand it's only 33 percent of basically the community which is uh, i guess you know those one beds and those old studios uh, that people had so when investors talk about most people they go for one beds because look they're obviously your investment inside the community is very less as well so right now we're having a Launch is coming up, you know, starting prices around 1.47 million. Now, this is something that's very doable along with the payment plan. So most of the community does have that one bed. Now you can do Airbnb, you can do long-term rental. They're much more easier to rent, obviously, because the prices are lower. Moving on, the 80 to 120,000, then we have 120 to 160,000. It kind of depends on, you know, which buildings we're looking at. And obviously if you have park view, side view, but this is basically what the community comprises of. We got one bed, we have two beds, we have three beds. All of them, they're going pretty solid, but one bed, are usually the best for investment because you can rent them out you can sell them out easier obviously two and three bedrooms are more end user centric so for those people who are willing to live themselves personally in the community they are usually going for those but of course you can go for those for investment as well so this was basically a complete guide on Dubai Hills Estate. We looked at some historical data. We looked at the physical park, the mall, the sales center. And, you know, of course, in the snapshots, we're going to look at the golf course, the schools. This is a complete package. And the reason I wanted to cover this community is that, again, it's one of the main communities in Dubai. You're right in the middle of Dubai, right between the both airports, and you're connected very well. It's, of course, made by the best developer in Dubai, tier one developer, Imar. So this was a complete guide, comprehensive guide on Dubai Hills Estate. We're going to continue to do this series on other developers as well. Of course, you know, other communities like Rashid Yats and Marina, Dubai South, of course, Damak Hills 2, all these communities, Shoba is coming up with more communities as well. Uh, of course, Ellington has nice buildings as well. So I'm gonna try to cover all these developers in depth community so you can sit at home. It doesn't matter if you're in Dubai, outside of Dubai, and you can have a complete comprehensive guide and understanding of what the options are there, how the community looks, what's the historical data, where it is now, and where it will go in the future. Now, 
you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Of course, you can reach me through my number on the top right corner. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.